Hi and welcome to this video for datatear.net. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create custom methods with datatear.net. Click the Manage Data button and we're going to select the state table. We're going to create a store procedure. Click the Create New Method button. Select the method type of Find By and the parameter type of Single Field. And the parameter field is going to be Name. Notice the names are filled in for you, but you can change it if you like. The only other thing I'm going to show you here is the update on build. If you ever change your table and you build again with datatier.net, the select list will be automatically updated if you use the update on build. And here we click the confirm update that just says, hey, I'm going to modify your project. And here, here's the store procedure. Now by default, I make you copy the procedure to your clipboard. <clears throat> but if you want, you can install it with datatier.net. Just click the insert store procedure button. Okay, we have one more to create. In this one, we are going to create a city. Do the same thing again. Click Create New Method, Find By. But this time, we're going to create a field set. We don't have any created yet, so we're going to create one. We're going to click Add. We're going to call this City and State ID. And we're going to select the city name and the state ID and hit Save. And now, our combo box is going to be repopulated. So we're going to select our field set. And again, all the names are populated for you, but we're going to use the defaults, and we're just going to hit Save. And now we're going to hit the Confirm Update again. And here's your store procedure. This time we do have two parameters. And we're going to insert our procedure. And now we're going to go over to our project, Random Data Generator, which is a project I'm using to benchmark datatier.net against Entity Framework. And datatier.net is winning by 14 times faster so far in round one. I want to show you the object library. Datatier.net uses partial classes, so for each class you're going to have a data class and a business class. If you put any code in the data class, it will be overwritten the next time you build with Datatier.net. So here's your three fields and there's two extra properties for delete and is new. If your table has a primary key, you get those extra two properties. But the business class is only created if it doesn't exist. So you can modify the business class. And this is how the procedure we just created, we added that private variable and the property for find by name. And that's how datatier.net tells the data access component that we need to interrupt the store procedure name whenever we get this find by name. So I'm gonna go over to the data access component. Let me close this. I'm gonna go to the states data manager and the writers folder, the states writer. First I'm going to show you the states writer base. When you build with datatier.net, here's all your base classes that are created. Like here's the find. This is the normal state underscore find by primary key. But in this case, when we created our new method, it copied that from the base class, it added the new keyword, and it uh, modified this if statement that if the state by find by name is true, and it changes the procedure name, and it uses this neat class called SQL Parameter Helper to create the name parameter for us. Else it uses the primary key if it's not a find by name. That'll just be the state ID. Now I am going to go over to our class that I'm building, this little program random data generator. And this is how, whenever I need to find by state, I've probably written a thousand lambda expressions by now, or two thousand, but this to me is just easier than calling link expressions and uh, I'm not even going to go into you know in any framework in this video. For me this is just a better approach you know than using the the lambda expression the first or default and all that. We're going to show you now the find by city. Here's the find by city and state ID. And the last thing I'll show you is the save is really simple. You just pass in an instance of the city, and by the time it comes back, the city ID is set if it's an identity insert like this case. And that's all I'm going to show in this video. Thanks for watching.